Hi everybody, it's Crossdress here with another video. I hope everybody got a wonderful, fabulous day today. I have had a wonderful, fabulous day myself. Uh, I'm making this video because there's not very much information out there, kind of all grouped together, and it's kind of hidden with all these other things that just, there's no cliff note of, of how to become a transgender. And I'm making this informational video about how in the process through the information I've gotten gathered and the resources I've gathered off the internet, through talking to uh, different you know doctors and I kind of gathered all that information and I'm here to inform you today. <laughs> okay, so first off, the first thing before you can do anything about anything is you have to see what they call an LSCSW, which is basically a licensed specialist clinical social worker. I was informed that I have to do it for six months, and uh, with that, that the, the my I've already done my first session, so I have another session that I'll be going to next month. I plan on doing one a month. And that ends up costing me about $180 uh, a session, which comes out to about 1080p. I mean, 1080. Sorry, IT neck that uh, geek here. Sorry. <laughs> um, after that, they will submit information to an introchronologist, uh, stating that you uh, were. They, they thought that you were psychologically uh, capable of taking hormone replacement therapy medication. Uh, that's why you have to go through that six months with a um, LSCSW. And once you do that, once you get to an endocrinologist, um, they will draw up labs. That costs about $500 for the labs on average. Then after that, once they do their labs and check to see that you're okay to take the medication, then they they give it to you. Uh, and it costs about, from what I found, about $125 on average. You'll pretty much want to take that for the rest of your life. Uh, but the one thing that most people are wondering um, is how when when does your breast stop growing uh, whenever you start taking it and from what I found out it takes it's about three years or so uh, it really varies based on each individual uh, and uh, your mother's breast size kind of has uh, a little bit to do with it as well uh, on, on how big you'll end up being able to get them and the next and then the next uh, bit of information that I'm about to give you I've got I got it off the resources of the transgendercenter.com and I put in the description uh, a link to that page and pretty much that page is describing all of the feminization uh, uh, procedures that most people or that you would want to go through or most people would go through to get uh, you don't have to do all of the procedures just whatever you feel comfortable with um, I, I'm definitely not going to do all of them there's 20 there's 22 different surgeries that could be uh, that, that that you could go through and endure um, but anyways uh, the ones that I feel that most people get are the ones that I'm about to talk about and the prices again are illustrate are from the uh, the website and again you can look at that website breast implants I personally won't be getting mine probably for a year and a half after HRT because it's way better to get some formized get them form first and then uh, and then to get the surgery so that uh, they can it looks more natural uh, so that that's that cost about eighty two hundred dollars uh, it really again it varies but you know it's kind of an expensive procedure butt implants there's three different ways that you uh, can go about butt implants um, the first two are on the website it says um, the the butt augmentation costs about ninety five hundred dollars which is kind of an expensive procedure really um, and then the butt fat implants uh, those cost about sixty five hundred dollars so that's 
you know, a little bit more cheaper. And then there's a thing that I did a little bit more research on. That they're called a, a dermal fillers. Um, and from what I seen, it's just the, the those are the injection ones. They inject into your butt. Um, so you'll have to keep doing that to get to the size that you want to. But each procedure costs, from what I've seen, about four to eight hundred dollars. That information was not on that website. That was just general from forms that I seen on how much they most people paid for theirs. Because there's like five or six different things that you can in, inject into your butt, um, and each thing costs a different amount. Uh, then there's the the nose uh, that again I, that might be a procedure that I might want to because I got kind of a big nose and I don't like it but I'm gonna wait for HRT because maybe the feminization of my jaw and stuff because HRT will do that for you uh, it will give you a little bit more you know womanly look on your face I'm waiting to see how that goes before I do a nose surgery because it's kind of kind of expensive and most med insurance companies don't find that medically necessary so you'll have to pay up you'll probably have to pay out of pocket for that but again each insurance place and I'll go over that in a minute uh, does have a different restrictions state by state insurance by insurance it's just you gotta you gotta find out first um, but the nose is about eighty five hundred dollars that's why I was like, I don't know, because that's kind of pricey, but I would love to have a shorter, like, cuter nose. It would be, that's the only thing I hate about my face. Uh, that and my facial uh, hair that keeps growing, which, again, that is a different thing. I didn't put that in my thing today um, for hair removal. Uh, that does cost quite a bit of money as well. Um, depending on how much you want removed. I didn't put any, I, I didn't get any resourced information on that. Sorry about that. But the SRS, that is where they do the inversion and you come out with this and you get that. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, I don't want to age restrict this by saying words that will make it age restrictive. Uh, but that costs about $19,750 crazy amount of money crazy the breast implants the HRT and the uh, SRS uh, from most insurance companies based off what I've seen are improved by most all of them state by state it's the 22 other the other surgeries that you know like if you want butt implants if you want you know a tummy tuck or if you want a lip implants and stuff like that uh, and I did do a total cost of what that would cost if you didn't have insurance. And it actually cost, if you wanted all the surgeries uh, done and you didn't have insurance, you paid out of pocket for everything, about $140,030. Kind of pricey. <laughs> very, very pricey. But you would be, you know, indistinguishable from being a woman at that point because of the, all the surgery and all the moving and all the stuff but I don't think I personally will need to do most of that actually um, they just in 2014 uh, decided that uh, the, the that insurance was going to start covering uh, these type of transgender transgender surgeries before that they they refer to it as just being experimental and they wouldn't even cover it so luckily <laughs> we live in a way better world now <laughs> and that we can get we can become who we want without paying hundred forty thousand dollars to do it <laughs> now before you can do any of the actual surgery the endocrinologist is going to tell you that you're going to need to see a psychologist and they will have to approve to get that done. The HRT is for the LS CSW for six months, and then you'll just need to do one session with the psychologist to um, get surgeries done if you wanted wanted to do that. And I also provided the, the website for for the American Psychological Association. They have a detailed guideline on their website, uh, which I provided a link with that in the description. Uh, if you're curious on what the guidelines are for you to go through uh, the surgery process. Now again, personally getting back to me about what I was going to do, I was going to do the breast implants, I was going to do the HRT, and I was going to do the butt implants, and also 
uh, potentially the nose, but I'm not going to include that in my total cost. Uh, but I have an insurance company where uh, I have a $500 deductible, and the HRT will be covered, and the uh, breast implants will be covered, uh, but the butt implants won't be covered, so I'll have to pay for that, um, which I'm figuring will cost me about $1,500. So with my $500 deductible and that $1,500, I'm paying about $2,000, and then if you consider uh, the amount of money I pay for my insurance which is 100 bucks a month, it's 1200 so $3,200 a year is what I pay for what I'll pay, uh, potentially pay this year for uh, HRT um, and the beginning process. Uh, the 1200 I don't really count though so much because it's for insurance, so it's not just for this, it'd be for other things as well. But keep in mind, people, Everyone has an out-of-pocket maximum, meaning that you have to pay a certain you, that the insurance will only pay a certain amount before, uh, even after your deductible is met, before they'll stop paying. And that's what they call a coverage cap. And when you hit that coverage cap, you have to pay everything until you can get out of the coverage cap, which is usually thousands and thousands of dollars. So if you think you're going to be able to get the $140,000 worth of surgery done with your insurance company, it's not happening. You're going to end up paying a lot of out-of-pocket costs if you're wanting to do it, the whole shebang. But getting done with just the, the basics and stuff, the $3,200 and stuff, that, as long as you have insurance, you can get the process started and you can get the basic procedures and you can start getting to be your beautiful self, you know, making, shaping your new beautiful self, rather. <laughs> but anyways, um, that is all the information I have gathered and provided into this video. Um, I love all of you, and I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of the day. And if there's anything you can think that uh, I missed, uh, put it in the description so others can kind of get information about stuff so we can just make this this video, the, the go-to video out there. But anyways, again, bye!